to another inspirational Thursday. God bless each of you if you're here for the first time. My name is Tina. If you've already been here, thank you guys for returning back for another encouraging and empowering message from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So God be the glory for a new day, new mercies to start all over again with our Father and to learn more of him. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we give you glory. We give you honor and praise for who you are. You're a good, 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 good father. We thank you that you promised never to leave us nor to forsake us. We thank you, Lord God, that you're with us until the end of time. We come repenting of every sin. Forgive us, cleanse us, and renew a righteous spirit within us and a pure, clean heart. We ask that you will speak to us through your word, O oh God, that will empower, equip, convict, and bring healing and deliverance to our lives on this day we love you and we thank you we know that when your word goes forth it does not return void it back unto you but it accomplishes everything it set for it out to do i pray for every viewer and every listener that they will not only hear the word of god but be a doer of it in jesus name amen hallelujah hallelujah glory glory to god we are going to talk about kingdom relationships today kingdom relationships and I will be coming from the King James Study Bible verse, Version Bible. And we are going to study out of the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 9. And it reads, but if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. God is speaking to you my brother you my sister if you are single if you are waiting for the lord to bless you with your kingdom spouse and you are in relationships and doing marital things that only god have created for only marriage in a co covenant the lord wants you to know that the time is near the time is near and we can't allow the enemy to deceive our minds and make us feel as though we can do things in the way of the world and not do things in the way of the kingdom the word of god says that we are not conforming the way of this world but we are being transformed by the renewing of our minds that we're able to prove and test and see what is god's good and perfect please and will it for our lives the Lord does not want us to miss out on everything that he has for us. Jesus has already paid the price on the cross. He nailed it and he said it's finished. So no matter what relationship that you're in, if you are in a relationship to where you are having marital relationships and you are living with your, your girlfriend or boyfriend and other things, on the list that may contain to your present relationship the lord is waiting for you to repent and start all over again with him because it's better to marry than to burn in passion we don't know when jesus is coming and the time is near and i want to encourage you to hear the word of the lord today repent Get your relationship right with God. God will keep you. God will help you. If this is your potential husband or wife, God will help you in this journey. He will help you. He will help the both of you. If you are both in a yoked relationship, a believing, y'all both saved and y'all believers, God will come in the midst of that relationship. If you have a desire to want to live the way God wants you to live and and trust him in the process of going into kingdom marriage god will step in and he will help you just fight the good fight of faith be strong in the lord and the power of his might i can tell you from a personal testimony that i've been in the place where you are right now and god stepped in and helped me and to god be the glory i am happily married we are going to be going into 10 years this year by the grace of god and it's because I was in a place where I didn't want to compromise righteousness for unrighteousness. It just was like a counterfeit. 
you know, from the enemy, making it seem as though like an illusion, like this is this is okay to do this. It's okay to live a carnal life, living a life of the lust and the flesh and, you know, all these different worldly things and not walking in true holiness and righteousness. God will do it for you, my brother and my sister. If you only believe and trust in the word of God, God will step in that relationship he will step in that situation and he will make all things new. All things new. And of course, this was not an overnight process. It took a lot of praying, fasting, consecration, getting myself connected to whatever I needed to do in the body of Christ as far as my church, single ministry, choir, Bible study, whatever, prayer ministry, whatever it took. For me to get full of the word of God, for me to stay focused on God so I could learn how to please God in my relationship until I become that husband or that wife or you become that husband or that wife to that individual. I did those things. So I want to encourage you to connect to a Bible-based church. If you're not already connected to a Bible-based church, make sure you do that. Find out what ministries they have. Connect with the single ministries, the prayer ministries, Bible study, whatever connects with you that will help you on this journey, you and your potential spouse. And God, God will be glorified and liberated through this relationship because he has perfect plans for your life. Plans of hope, prosperity, and a good future not to harm you. The enemy only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God is here that he has sent Jesus. And Jesus has died and rose on the third day again with all power in his hand. And we're all able to live through the blood of Jesus, that abundant life, because we've been redeemed through the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope that you have not only heard the word of God, but you're going to also be a doer of it. Be encouraged. I'm praying for you. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts on on this message. If you need prayer, if you need more teaching on this area of Christian relationships, please let me know. I would be happy to create more content for you guys. Just let me know. I love you guys so much, but God loves you more. And he wants you to walk in the purpose and the plan that he has for your life. So be encouraged. And I will be seeing you guys in the next Inspirational Thursday. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. It has been helpful to you. Share with as many people that you know that need to hear the word of God. Of course, we all need the word of God. Share. I appreciate it. God bless you. And have an amazing day in the Lord. God bless.